Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D along with this uh, main diagonal uh, B, D as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we have this line uh, E, F. And as a result, we get this uh, triangle uh, D, E, P whose area is uh, 7 centimeter square. And the area of this uh, another uh, yellow triangle uh, PFB is uh, 28 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red uh, trapezoid and uh, this uh, blue trapezoid uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, blue rectangle. And now let's assume the area of this uh, blue rectangle is 10 centimeter square. And in this uh, next step, we got this uh, main diagonal as you can see. And this uh, red diagonal divides the area of this uh, rectangle into two equal parts. Uh, this uh, triangle area and this triangle area that is going to be equal. If the total area of this blue rectangle is uh, 10 centimeter square, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 5 uh, centimeter square. And likewise, the area of this uh, other triangle is going to be 5 uh, centimeter square as well. And if we draw this uh, red diagonal the other way around, then uh, this uh, red diagonal is going to divide the area of this uh, blue rectangle into two equal parts. This area that is going to be 5 centimeter square and this area 5 centimeter square as well. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this red triangle and the blue triangle and both of them uh, are uh, similar triangles. And now let's assume the side length uh, of this uh, red triangle uh, is uh, x the side length for this uh, blue triangle is uh, y then their uh, side length ratio is going to be x uh, to y if this side length is uh, x uh, then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be x uh, square and likewise for this uh, blue triangle if this side length is uh, y then the area of this blue triangle is going to be y square so therefore uh, their area ratio is going to be x square to y square. Let's assume the side length of this blue triangle is uh, 3 and the length uh, for this uh, red triangle is uh, 5 units. Then the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be 3 square that is going to be 9 and for this uh, red triangle the area of this triangle is going to be 5 square that is going to be 25 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two triangles this triangle uh, DEP and this other uh, yellow triangle uh, PFB and we can see these uh, two angles are uh, congruent since they are vertical angles and these uh, angles are uh, congruent uh, as well since they are their alternate uh, interior angles. So therefore we conclude that uh, these uh, two triangles, uh, this triangle uh, DEP and this other uh, yellow triangle uh, PFB are uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And we can see their area ratio is uh, 7 to 28. And if we divide uh, both sides by 7, then their area ratio could be also written as 1 to 4. So therefore their side length ratio is going to be the square root of uh, these uh, numbers. So this is going to be square root of 1 and this is going to be square root of uh, 4. So therefore their side length ratio is going to be 1 to 2. These are just the square roots of uh, these uh, numbers. So therefore uh, the side length uh, of this triangle D is going to be one uh, circle and the uh, side length uh, of this uh, yellow triangle uh, BF is going to be two circle. 
and now let's make an observation if this uh, side length is uh, one circle then this uh, other side length uh, cf is going to be one circle as well and likewise if uh, this side length is uh, two circle then this uh, side length uh, e is going to be two circle as well and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle uh, alpha this angle is 90 degrees then this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's focus uh, on this uh, yellow triangle we know this angle is beta this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha so therefore we conclude that this uh, smaller triangle uh, DEP is uh, similar to this uh, bigger triangle uh, DAB according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem and now let's make an observation this whole uh, side length uh, AD is going to be sum of this one circle and two circle is going to make a uh, three circle so therefore uh, their side length uh, ratio is going to be DE and uh, DA in other words uh, this uh, DE length uh, and this whole uh, DA length and we know our DE length uh, is uh, one circle and DA length uh, is uh, three circle as you can see in this uh, next step their side length ratio is one two three so therefore their area ratio is going to be the square of these numbers so their area ratio is going to be one to nine in other words if the area of this uh, smaller triangle DEP is one then the area of this uh, bigger triangle DAB is going to be nine and we know the area of this uh, triangle uh, DEP is uh, 7 and the ratio is 1 to 9 so therefore uh, DAB triangle area is going to be 7 times 9 is going to give us uh, 63 so therefore the area of this uh, whole triangle uh, DAB turns out to be 63 centimeter square so therefore uh, the area of this uh, other triangle uh, DCB is going to be 63 centimeter square as well. So therefore the area of this uh, blue trapezoid is going to be this whole uh, area minus uh, this area that is 7. So therefore this blue trapezoid area is going to be 63 minus 7 and that is going to give us uh, 50 six uh, centimeter square and finally the area of this uh, red trapezoid is going to be this uh, 63 area minus uh, this uh, 28 so i can write uh, 63 minus 28 uh, is going to give us uh, 35 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, red trapezoid turns out to be 35 centimeter square whereas the area of this uh, blue trapezoid uh, is uh, 56 uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye